San Pedro Bautista y Blasquez was born in Avila, Spain, a home to many famous saint reformers like Saint Teresa of Avila and Saint John of the Cross. If I'm going to describe San Pedro Bautista in one word, I will describe him as a good builder. San Pedro Bautista built a lot of communities, a lot of towns, churches, hospitals, and even schools in his short stay in the Philippines. San Pedro Bautista arrived in the Philippines in 1584 and was assigned in Intramuros, Manila. According to his contemporaries, that Pedro Bautista was a very charismatic person. With his personality, he was able to rally his companions to volunteer and support him in any project that he would present to them, especially in, in works of evangelization. In 1586, he became the custis of all the Franciscans in the Philippines who were already spread from Bulacan down to Sorsogon. He animated his religious brothers to leave out their profession and to work for the conversion of the people of the land. One of the hallmarks of San Pedro Bautista here in the Philippines is that not only the institutions that he built, but also the legacy that he left uh, among the people. San Pedro Bautista had a great love for the poor. He and the friars became the advocate for the voiceless, the abused, and the exploited. He simply did not build churches, hospitals, schools, and houses for the poor. He also lived and lived with them. He fed them and cared for them, and he even defended their human rights, you know, the more indigenous people of Zambales, I think. So, as a preacher, uh, he definitely walked his talk. And to me, he is an epitome of an advocate of the church for the poor. In 1590, he built a hermitage made of native materials on top of a forested mountain given to him by the Governor General. This place evolved into what is now known as San Francisco del Monte. Governor de Vera donated uh, generously this piece of land, una encomienda pequeña, as he would call it, which was 250 hectares at that time. And so this precious space given to us was a space for a hermitage, for spiritual renewal of the friars. And this is a space which was very important to San Pedro Bautista in his works of evangelization because he always needed that time to recharge and be filled with the Spirit of God before going out to mission again. San Pedro Bautista, we can see in him that uh, First is his love for prayer. He is a man of prayer. First and foremost, he wanted to spend more time in prayer and contemplation. When he was assigned here in the Philippines, he noticed that uh, the Filipinos has talent in singing, but uh, nobody is teaching them how to develop these talents. Ang natutuwa lang po ako sa parokya ng San Pedro Bautista, yung buhay na buhay yung choir, na kung saan, which is also a legacy of San Pedro Bautista. In the meantime, the Emperor of Japan threatened to invade the Philippine Islands. The Governor General sent an ambassador to make peace with the Emperor. He then sent Pedro Bautista as his ambassador to seek peace with the Japanese Emperor. God blessed the work of the Franciscan friars in Japan with so many converts to Christianity, and this alarmed the local high priests. They reported to the Emperor and succeeded in making the Emperor angry at San Pedro Bautista and the friars. On February 5, 1597, each of them were fixed to a cross, as one by one, the martyrs were pierced with lances on both sides of their bodies, crossing their hearts. As San Pedro Bautista is our patron, we wanted that our parish be always modeled or passioned after his uh, 
example. San Pedro Bautista po ang nagsisilbing inspirasyon sa lahat ng aming gawain sa parokya. Marami po kaming sinisilbihan na talagang walang wala. Every time I pray, I implore His guidance and intercession, and I can attest to that. And so we have a saint in our midst, San Pedro Bautista, a man of action and a man of prayer, a man who offered his life as a testimony to his faith.